Hello, Sam from Sound on Sound magazine here. I'm at the NAM show in Anaheim, California, and I'm on the Avid booth with Richard. Hey, Richard. Hi, nice Great to see you. Nice to see you again, yeah. And um, you're actually have launched a new product of the show, which is uh, a, a new version of the MTRX or Matrix. Yes, we actually we've got two new products in the Matrix family. So um, we're actually the next generation of Matrix, uh, which is our Matrix Two. We're launching at the show. So. It's basically got more I.O., it's uh, more scalable. So essentially it comes standard with 256 channels of Dante. It comes with the SPQ room calibration built into the baseboard of the unit. Um, and of course it uses the same option cards as Matrix One. So, you know, same analog I.O., Dante, Digilink. Um, but one of the other things, it's got a larger monitor matrix built into it. So it's now 512 by 64. So the 64 outputs allow you to do a full Atmos theatrical monitor environment. Um, so, uh, you know, it's next generation product. And, and then there's an additional card which is available for both Matrix 2 and our Matrix Studio interfaces, which is a Thunderbolt 3 card. Thunderbolt 3 then gives it the capability, obviously, to work with any native audio applications. If you're running a third party, you know, DAW and Pro Tools at the same time, and you can use actually both the interface for both simultaneously. So um, we're pretty excited about that. Both products are going to be shipping in Q2, um, and we're you know excited to you know continue to build upon the capabilities of this interface because it's the, you know it's very scalable, and with you know more and more work going into immersive workflows, it just brings cap greater capability for you know post-production. Um, the larger post facilities and also scalability for music facilities too. Well, it's interesting what you were saying about theatre shows, that yeah. um, possibly an application that you wouldn't think of as for audio interfaces. Yeah, you so, you know, it, it's when I say theatrical, it's, it's so, it, it means actually it's cinema, right? Yeah. But, it, you know, Dolby classifies, obviously, cinema environment as a theatrical atmos versus home atmos and atmos for TV. So, um, you know, the largest atmos configurations will support up to 64 monitor you know, channels. So um, the Matrix 1 had a, a, a 32 output uh, monitor matrix, and obviously with Matrix 2, in the larger you know, post environments, it needs to scale up for the, you know, obviously the bigger Atmos installations. So Matrix 2 actually has that capability. Right, so it really is sort of ready for whatever. Yeah, it is, it is and you know, and a lot of our customers too, you know, obviously, the Pro Tools customers, but they will tend to use, you know, maybe some other applications if they compose in one app and then maybe mix in Pro Tools. So, and just having the ability to be able to take your matrix and use it, you know, with a laptop, you know, so that now you can take a matrix studio if you need to record or you need to work some facility um, and just use the Thunderbolt connectivity as opposed to, you know, the Digilink with an HDX card. Yeah. yeah. And how soon is this going to be available? Uh, they'll be available with their shipping in Q2. Um, so pretty quickly. Yeah. Excellent. And yeah. no supply issues? Uh, well, you know, we're in, the, we're in a bit of a still a supply chain crunch. You know, the, the market still hasn't returned to obviously the pre-pandemic level, uh, levels. Um, we're getting product and we're shipping it. Um, there's been quite a lot of demand for our Matrix products, but um, we see that situation is improving monthly. So, you know, we're expecting in the second half of the year, uh, you know, that obviously we're going to see greater availability uh, for some of these new products. Yeah. That's cool. And do you have, is there a price point for the uh, Matrix 2? Uh, there is. So Matrix 2, the base unit is uh, in US dollars, $69.99. Um, it's a little bit more than Matrix 1, but of course, if you take a Matrix 1 and you just add a single Dante card, or even an SPQ card, it already costs more than uh, a Matrix 2 base unit. So, um, and of course, if you load it up with Dante and SPQ, it's quite a significant saving. So, um, and then the Thunderbolt option is uh, $799 um, for Matrix Studio and Matrix 2. And so, will Matrix 2 supersede Matrix 1? And yes, Matrix 1 is, is end of sale now, so this is the replacement product. Amazing. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, thanks so much for explaining that. Appreciate it. And thanks Great for stopping by, Alan. Hey. Hey. Cool. Pleasure. Hey, thanks, guys.